Attention, please. Four, four, three, three, two, two, one, one. We have ignition. You already know who it is. Leaving all the competition in the dust. 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 Yeah. Okay, let's do it. The following program contains inconvenient truth and controversial topics that may be offensive to some audiences. Listener discretion is advised. Radio from the heart of America now. And now, the Commander-in-Chief is back. Freedom Friday with Carl Gallup's The Oval Office of Gulf Coast Talk Radio. He calls himself messianic rabbi you've heard that term many there are many people jonathan cotton messianic rabbi mark built messianic rabbi i mean you go around the nation eric walker from birmingham messianic rabbi well why is that people people say well you jesus said let no man call himself rabbi do not call yourself rabbi he was talking to his disciples zev's going to answer that question for us but the word messianic means you're a believer that yeshua is messiah and but you're also a in English terms, in American terms, a teacher preacher. And and so, but there's a reason why you use the term rabbi and to say, to quote what Jesus said, takes out of context what you're doing. You explain all that now that I've set you up. I'm going to hush and you explain it. Well, it's a very good question. And now we've been asked many times. First of all, we need to acknowledge that when we're reading the Bible in any subject, we need to look at context. Yeah. Context is very important. The context of this Bible verse, do not call anybody rabbi, is Matthew chapter 23, verses 1 to 13. I'm not going to read all the Bible verses now, but the context is Yeshua. His disciples are there, and he's speaking to the Orthodox Jews at that time. He's speaking to the rabbinic movement. He's speaking to the Sanhedrin. Right. And he's telling them, you love to be greeted at markets. They love to be greeted at markets. Pharisees and Sadducees. Pharisees and Sadducees. They're hypocrites. They want to be called rabbi when they sit on the seat of Moses. They want a title. They want a badge. They want want people to bow down. Exactly, and and this is what he was speaking about. And in the same Bible uh, chapter, he says, when they sit on the seat of Moses, listen to them, he says, and I'm paraphrasing. But as soon as they get off that seat, don't listen to them. Why? He because where we're, when they're on the seat of Moses, they're quoting the word of God. When they get off, they're exalting themselves. And the context is not to exalt yourself over the kingdom. Why do I call myself rabbi? Because if I call myself pastor in Israel, in Israel, they're not going to listen to me they're at all. To, they'll walk away from you. They'll walk away. From, they'll think that I'm trying to bring them to the Roman Catholic Church. They don't understand yeah. Yeah. the ones who don't believe in Jesus and Yeshua. Right. All, now, now, let me just inter- interject, folks. We're not disparaging Roman Catholic Church, but what he means by that is in Europe, the Jews, the Orthodox Jews, know the Roman Catholic Church as having a part or as a part in the Holocaust with Hitler and 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 the various you know in the name of Jesus they've been persecuted uh, the 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 Inquisitions the Spanish Inquisition so that's what he meant by that if if you say I'm a pastor they immediately think you're a part of that and so they they'll walk away and we'll continue after the break and get deeper yeah. into it yeah yeah you know. It's uh yeah. Well, we've got about 40 seconds, so you can go ahead. In Matthew 23, verse 8, it says, But you are not to be called rabbi, for you have one rabbi, one teacher, and you are all brothers. Right. In Hebrew, it says the word master, right. which is speaking about God, the authority. That's what it's right. speaking about. Right. The context here is not to call anybody rabbi. You have one rabbi, that's Yeshua. Right. Continue to read. It says, don't call anybody teacher. Don't call anybody a leader. Right. So basically, if you read Matthew 23 and you want to take it literal, you can't have any pastors in the congregation, you can't have any deacons, and can't you can't have, have any rabbis. You might as well just yeah. close the church, close the building. Right. It's a done deal. Right. That's not what Yeshua meant. It, we'll touch on it after the break. Right. I was going to say thank you. We're, we're going to take this break. We'll fill that out and finish answering the question after the break, but it's a good question. A lot of people ask it in our studio. Messianic rabbi, Zev Parat. All right. Well, Zev Parat in the studio with us. It's good to have you with us, man. All the way from Tel Aviv, Israel. 
It's great to be here. Why do you call yourself pastor? Yeah, why do I do that? Why do you call yourself Don't you know rabbi? the Bible says don't yes, call yourself don't pastor? You, and don't call yourself rabbi. What are you talking about? No, we just spent the last segment talking about that. So the bottom line is, context is, he was saying to his own disciples, look, don't get all puffed up. When I'm gone, when I'm resurrected, and the whole world is looking at you, don't say, this is our chance to be somebody. Don't take these titles on yourself. Strut around with your chest out. Get all prideful like the evil we've been fighting against for these three years. Don't you go and fall in that same trap. Don't you walk around calling yourself Rabbi. I'm Rabbi Peter. Everybody bow down. I'm Rabbi John. I'm Rabbi James. That's what he was saying. It's just God gave different people different positions yes. in the body of Yeshua. Yes. We're all brothers in Yeshua. We're all small people with a big God. That's but it. God gave us positions yeah. in the body of teachers, of pastors, of evangelists, yes. and that's all it is. It's a word. position in the body, and the authority is Yeshua. In fact, in Matthew 23, verse 8, and I read it before, but you are not to be called rabbi, for you have one teacher, and you are all brother. The word teacher there is not there in the Hebrew. The word in Hebrew for you have... You are not to be called rabbi, for you have one Adon. Uh Adon is the word one God. Adon Uh Adonim, Lord. You have one Lord. That's what it's speaking about, to put him as the authority. And if we read Matthew 23, verse 9, it even says, And you are not to to call anyone father, for you have one father in heaven. The context is the father in heaven. We read the context. Paul addresses this. In 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 15, where he says, Even if you had 10,000 guardians... In Christ, in Yeshua, you do not have many fathers, for in Christ Jesus, I became your father through the gospel. Yes. That's the key. That's the key. The gospel is what made him the father. To a church. To a church. Right. Not that he is the authority. The right. authority is it's the Jesus, gospel, Jesus. And it's the same context in yeah. Matthew 23. Right. And so the reason you, the really the only reason you identify yourself by the Hebrew term rabbi, which simply means teacher. Teacher. You know, or, you know, a pastor, preacher, whatever, but that's what it means, teacher. But the only reason you do is Well, it means teacher of the word. If I just word. say teacher, they'll think I'm a math teacher. Well, that's in, true. In, in, I mean, there is Israel. a separation. You're right. You're right. But but it means teacher of the word, okay? And, and so, I, you know, I call myself pastor or preacher. I don't, but other people do. I don't demand that people call me by a title. You don't demand that people call you by a title, but you have to identify yourself by a title, especially when you're in Israel trying to minister to Orthodox Jews. And if you called yourself priest or pastor or teacher, you know, or, or reverend uh, or preacher, they would turn their backs, shake the dust off their feet, walk the other way. They wouldn't give you a say. But the term rabbi. I wouldn't have an opportunity to even open the Bible. You wouldn't even. No, no. So, so you know, to the Jews, you become a Jew. To the Gentiles, the Gentiles. But you don't compromise the gospel. That's what Paul said. And that's what you do. So for the Pharisees out there that are always attacking you and me about, hey, he calls himself rabbi. That's, you know, that's that's horrible. Well, just read it in context. Otherwise, you need to quit stop calling yourself teacher and preacher and pastor because that means a teacher of the word, which is what the Hebrew word rabbi means. And that's why I used the word messianic before it so you can identify. Okay, messianic means I'm a believer in Yeshua. But actually, uh, Carl, you should be called messianic pastor because that's what you are. In English. If, in English, English, if you're preaching right. the I'm truth. I'm a believer in Messiah. You're a believer in Messiah. Word, you're messianic. I'm a pastor. I'm a messianic. Absolutely. Right. In, in fact, yeah, you and I talk about that all the time. I, I tell people all the time. They say, well, I'm a part of a messianic congregation. I say, well, so am I. Oh, really? I say, yeah, I always have been. Yeah, because I'm a believer that Jesus is Messiah. Amen. And and in my church, I preach and teach uh, the feast of the Lord and how it all connects to Jesus and the Old Testament, New Testament. We don't depart from each other. We put them together. There's a fulfillment. Sharon has died aged eight. We are with one of Rabbi Kaduri's disciples.